a very important element in three of Shakespearean plays is the shipwreck or the sea storm. These three plays, The Merchant of Venice, Twelfth Night and Tempest are based on the events which are centered in sea storm or the shipwreck. Shipwreck in a sea storm is the important pivot on which the action hinges in these three plays. In The Merchant of Venice, Antonio, who is in bondage to Shylock, who has to pay 3,000 ducats, is unable to do, do, do so because her ships are lost in a sea storm and all his ships are wrecked. As a result, he is unable to honor the bond. He is taken for trial. He is a prisoner and he is on the point of losing his life till in the famous trial scene, Portia, in all her luminous presence, disguised as Balthazar, comes and saves his life, turning the conditions of the bond upon their head and finding a loophole. And the rest is, of course, happy events and a happy conclusion. So, the sea storm and the shipwreck provide a context for the play to reach a happy conclusion, to solve all the tension and to also create the situation where the problems come to a head and then finally they are resolved. In Twelfth Night, the action springs from the shipwreck in the sea storm. Because it is because of the shipwreck that the heroine Viola finds herself in a strange land alone in Illyria without anyone to confide in, trying to look for her brother, her twin brother, whom she is afraid has been lost in the shipwreck in the sea storm. So in Twelfth Night, again it is the shipwreck which provides the impulse or the beginning of the action it gives us the rest of the events follow from the shipwreck in tempest the conclusion comes because of the sea storm and the shipwreck because miranda's father prospero he thinks it's time to pay back the debts of the past to get his dues and so he creates the shipwreck which brings his strange brother and the king of Naples and the prince Ferdinand of Naples to the island where Ferdinand and Miranda fall in love. That was his plan. And he also got back his dukedom. And all the events fall in place and the play reach a ha reaches a happy conclusion. So in three different contexts, in these three plays, Merchant of Venice, Twelfth Night and Tempest, it is the shipwreck in the sea storm which provides the source of the action the action springs from it and also in tempest it comes to a resolution so sea storm and the shipwreck these two events are the key events and point uh, offer a point of similarity in these three plays the merchant of venice twelfth night the very happy comedy a sparkling comedy and tempest the romance so <coughs> shipwreck and the sea storm these are the two different key and at the same time similar key elements of these plays